Bella. It's a fireplace. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, then hello, welcome. My name is Wyman. I am hitting pause temporarily on the holiday content. There is a Bali vlog to come, but I wanted to interrupt you guys with a huge B&M haul, which I have recently just been spending a lot of money. I've hit three B&Ms in the last week and my bank account is not happy about it. I also thought it'd be really cozy to do it in my living room today, as opposed to my study. I usually do film in my study because the sound is better, but I thought we'd keep it cozy today. I do have the little fireplace going on but it kind of feels aggressive i feel like i need to maybe change it maybe let's change it to one that feels a little bit calmer right temporarily being interrupted by an advert oh my god another advert maybe it's not meant to be i'm not meant to have a fireplace going this mm, this feels calmer i feel like the colors are less aggressive we can keep that one on so i recently visited the bnm in lakeside with my best friend and we just had a great time we bought loads and loads of stuff there's lots of halloween stuff out but more importantly all the Christmas stuff is out. And if you know me, I freaking love Christmas. I do not care about Halloween. I'm really sorry for all the people who do love it out there, but I literally count down the hours, the days, the minutes to Christmas. I've got all the stuff on the floor around me and I've sectioned it off to like home stuff, gifts behind me and then Christmas stuff here. So we're just gonna jump straight in. The first item we're going to start with is actually right behind me. And it is this Christmas garland right here. So you can see that there are little stars on it. And then they've got these little, what are they called? Acorns? They're not acorns there. I don't know the name of these. If you guys know, please pop it down below because I've always wondered what they are. They're not conkers. They're not acorns. Acorns? <laughs> acorns. I don't know what the names of them are. Please don't hate me for it. There's also these white berries with glitter on there. And there's like white dusting across the whole garland i'll also insert a picture or like a video or something so that you guys have a close-up of the item but she was 25 pounds and i absolutely love her i just feel like she fits in with the aesthetic so much our living room is a bit of like a old school mid-century kind of vibe and this kind of color palette works really well for i'm gonna stop touching her because she keeps breaking actually like these things are quite delicate if you accidentally knock it it will pop off so she was 25 pounds, so nice, and definitely something that I'll bring out year on year for Christmas. They had lots of different other colorways as well. There was like one with red berries, there was a gold one, there was a pink one, so lots to choose from, but this one fits our aesthetic the most, and especially for Christmas as well. Oh, hello, Bella. Are you coming to say hi? Come, you want to come? No, that's a trigger word here, so we're not gonna use that. It's a fire, Bella. We're gonna jump straight into the next item. I feel like let's just start with the Christmas stuff. Those are the things that I'm most excited for anyway. So why not? We're jumping straight in. We started with the garland. The next item that I purchased was actually this winter flower scented candle and wreath. I got this for seven pounds and I thought this was so cute. Initially, I was gonna put this underneath the TV where this candle is, but now that we have the garland, I feel like it's just gonna get lost. So this is actually gonna sit on the table for Christmas day. If there is a little candle in the middle and then you've got the mini wreath as well. It actually smells really nice as well. It's like a really nice sweet smell, which I like. I like those kind of like vanilla berry kind of smells, but nothing too sweet. And this feels very festive. I also have a table runner now. Very, very grown up, but I have a table runner in my dining room. So this is gonna sit in the middle of the table runner and I'm gonna have all the food and all the goodies around it on Christmas day because I'm hosting Christmas at my house. So I am going all out this year. Obviously one wreath wasn't enough for this Christmas lover here so I did buy another wreath and this is the next wreath. The reason why I'm holding it like this is because this guy actually fell off which is so sad so I'll just have to get some super glue and glue him back on but otherwise there is actually a bit of rope so you can hang this wreath up like this and it is so pretty. There's like gold specks all around it. I love the little red baubles that are in there. I also love this kind of like what are these called? You know when you blow them away and you make a wish they look like those and then there's little berries there as well. Again the colour scheme is perfect for the aesthetic that we're going for and actually I'm not going to hang this up this is going to sit on another table probably and i'm going to pop a little candle in the middle to kind of replicate the mini version that i bought here so yeah as if one wreath wasn't enough and one garland is clearly not enough i have a little guest behind me hello you okay do you want to come say hi to the video one second look come say hi look at this <laughs> she's in her gucci <laughs> hi thank you so much can you say hi to the camera yeah, there we go. Give everybody a wave. <laughs> You're so cute. She is already feeling very festive. She's in her red jumper. Okay, she's going now, or she's just rudely gonna have a bum in the corner. Apologies. <laughs> On to the next two items. I obviously bought gift wrap. I love 
gift wrap. I don't know what it is about gift wrap. I just hoard it year on year. And there's always like a tiny bit left that I will then roll up and then I'll leave it in the attic. And then every year I dig out the same box with gift wrap in it. And there's just like random bits of gift wrap left over from the years before. It's just the thing, okay? We're not here to judge. This is the first gift wrap that I purchased. And this has little pink soldiers on them. What are they called? Nutcrackers. Little pink nutcrackers all over, which I thought was so cute. And obviously it's pink and it's such great value as well. This is 10 meters of wrapping paper for £1.50. You just don't get that. The second style that I purchased is the opposite of the cute pink one. This is actually a navy one and there's little Christmas puddings on there. There's little candy canes. There's a carrot that's singing carols right there <laughs> and it says let's eat. There's also, what is that? There's a broccoli that's also singing carols as well which is really cute. So another one which was 10 meters and again for £1.50. We have more Christmas gift wrap I just feel like every year once I've wrapped the presents I always think why didn't I buy gift bags they just look so much nicer in gift bags and when you're traveling to people's houses and stuff to give out their presents and things like that it's just not very nice digging them out of a tote bag as much as I love a tote bag and you can still be really sustainable because you can reuse your gift bag so I've just revealed the first one to you this is the first gift bag which I thought was so cute this is like a sage green you've got the stags you know what young Wyman up until I was probably about probably not that young, like 25. I used to get those white labels that you would stick on your exercise books and I would cut them into a quarter, quarters even, and I'd write everybody's names and stick them onto each individual present because that's how dedicated I was. And now I've gone into b and and I have discovered that it is so much easier spending one pound and buying these guys instead. These are the little mini cards that you stick onto each individual present. You can also get the sticky labels. I initially did have the sticky labels in my basket they were £1.50 and I think you get 120 stickers. I am not made of money. I do not have 120 presents to gift this year. So I thought I would just go back down to, I think it's 40, yeah, 40 gift tags for £1 instead. And again, this suits the aesthetic that I'm going for this Christmas and it suits a lot of the wrapping paper. There's green, there's a little robin there, there's a little foliage everywhere. And I thought this was really, really cute. All this Christmas talk is honestly, whew, it is making me very excited, but I'm very thirsty. So quick tea break, better. Moving on to the next category. So for those of you who, oh, there's something on my lip. I can feel it. <laughs> what is it? Okay, I think I've got it. So for those of you who are like, I don't want to touch anything Christmas related until it's the 1st of November or the 30th of November or whatever it is, you'll be relieved to hear that was it for Christmas. We did buy quite a few things last year because we had our first Christmas in our first home together, of course. So we just want to reuse some of those things. They're still really, really new. And yeah, there's just no need to like throw them out or anything. And we still really love the look that it has. So we're just going to reuse a lot of them, but there were loads of Christmas decorations that you could buy. They also have these things that I wanted to buy last year and they're called poinsettias so those big red festive flowers and you clip them into your tree and they kind of open out and they look really really pretty but the tree that we're going for and the aesthetic that we're going for how many times can I say aesthetic in this video take a shot every time I say aesthetic is going to be that kind of white brown and gold theme so it didn't really fit in and they didn't have any white flowers or anything that I could clip into the tree so I didn't get them but they do have them so if you're looking for them B&M do them and they're quite affordable okay I lied I said we we're going to move away from Christmas but I'm actually going to move on to the gift section of the pile that I've got right here. The first gift set that I'm going to show you guys is this one right here. This is going to my sister's boyfriend who doesn't watch my YouTube video so I can show you guys without ruining the surprise. This has a mini bottle of Kraken which is a black spiced rum. As you can tell I don't drink. I've got a bottle of Kraken and then we have this chunky glass cup down here which actually caught my eye first and I saw this and I thought that's so cute it looks like one of those things that you have during like Oktoberfest and things like that and then I saw that it came with a mini bottle of rum which I thought was really cute this gift set was six pounds which I think is so affordable and makes a perfect stocking filler my sisters and I this year are doing secret Santa so there's four of us instead of buying gifts for every single sister we are basically only gifting one sister per sister if that makes sense so I'm only going to be buying for one sister and then my other sister is going to be buying for the other sister. I feel like I've just overcomplicated Secret Santa. Anyway, I'm basically just buying for one sister this year and my sister that I'm buying for loves s'mores. So I bought this cute s'mores set, which I think I bought her last year, probably the year before that as well, but it's so affordable and it makes a cute little stocking filler as well. This was three pounds. The next gift that I'm going to show you is for my best friend who I don't believe even watches my videos. 
I know, I need to have words, that's unacceptable. But because she doesn't watch my videos, I can show you guys what I bought for her as a stocking filler. This was something that she saw in B&M when we went on the weekend, and I bought this today because they didn't have her initials at the store that we were at. It is this mini jewelry organizer, which has her initials on there. There's a really cute tassel as part of the zip, and this was only four pounds, and it's super, super cute. It comes in a few different colors, actually. I remember there was a teal color, maybe a navy, and then there was gray. This was the only one that they had with her initial on it, so I bought the gray, and this is what it looks like inside, perfect for traveling, and again, a perfect little stocking filler. For another gift, this gift is going to my boyfriend's sister. So usually every year, I buy her something coffee related because she loves coffee, and whenever we meet up, we always have a catch up over coffee. Last year, I bought her a set from B&M, and it was like cute little disposable coffee cups, and there was different types of coffee within each one. There was like salted caramel, there was, I think one was like an alcoholic one, and you just added water and then it was good to go. This year I thought I'd do something a little bit different. I bought her a hot chocolate set instead and this one has loads of different flavours as you can see. So we've got the cookies and cream, we've got some hazelnut, we've got Rocky Road which I know she'll like. Not sure she'll be a fan of carrot cake but I know that she'll like, oh s'mores, she'll like that one as well. And this one was £5 and you get 12 different types of hot chocolates which again makes another really great stocking filler. I feel like B&M is just killing it with the stocking fillers because they're so affordable especially when you have lots of people to buy for this year as well this makes the perfect gift or stocking filler another tradition that i have with my boyfriend's sister is that i also buy her an advent calendar each year so last year i bought her a chocolate one and the year before that i bought her a cheese one this time i saw this in bnm i thought i have to get this for her she absolutely loves loves Kinder Bueno. So we have a Kinder Bueno advent calendar and this was also five pounds, but it's like a good chunky one. You know how you can see with advent calendars, like how thin they are and you know how thin the chocolate's gonna be. This is a good chunky one. So you know there are gonna be some real goodies in here. They did have other chocolate brands as well for the advent calendars. I think there was a Galaxy one, there was a multi, multi bar milky bar and maltesers and i think they range from like two pounds to five pounds i think the maltesers one was quite a chunky one as well so i think that was five pounds take it from someone who has been running around sainsbury's tesco's as the you name it on the last week of november they never have them left or out on the shop floor anymore so get them early whilst you still can we have two more gifts and these are really quick and easy this is the penultimate one and this is a little mini rainbow decoration for a child's bedroom i believe one of my clients is having a baby and i'm going to put together a hamper for her i don't think she watches my channel so hopefully she doesn't see this because this is part of a hamper but this is so sweet if i had a baby this is definitely something that i would put in my little baby's room and it's got these really cute pastel colors in the fringing and this was three pounds the last gifting idea that i have for you guys from bnm is actually a funny one let me just rotate the face, you'll know what I mean in a minute. Okay, they're ready. <laughs> they are angry balls. So they're stress balls, I believe. Yeah, it says super squeezy, stress relieving balls of squishiness. And this one says slightly annoyed. This one says a bit angry. And this one says livid. This is gonna be a stocking filler for my sister because I thought it's a funny little gift. And also it's a nice little stress reliever for only three pounds. Although having said that, I have a feeling that our dogs are going to go for it because it's like that perfect little squishiness. I feel like they'll go for this one. This is like the perfect size to fit inside their mouths. <laughs> so hopefully they don't get their hands on it because it is for my sister's stocking filler. Okay, we're done with the Christmas and the gifting sections. We're now moving on to home. I'm just going to put a warning out there. There are a lot of mugs in this haul. <laughs> B&M do great affordable mugs and mugs make such a good gift for birthdays, for Christmases or for throwing in hampers and of course I had to get myself some as well. Who can resist a mug? If you can then please you need to tell me what you do to resist yourself from putting it in your basket because they are so cute and so affordable. With that I might as well just go straight in with the mugs. There are so many. This year B&M have really push the boat out of their Christmas cups and mugs and glasses and they are so so cute and one that I got this year is actually these guys here this is going to be for Danny and this is going to be for his sister they had loads of different ones where you either had like green on the inside and I think there was one with pink on the inside as well and you get the initials on the little stocking I mean how cute is that sorry but if you can resist this how it is so cute and it's like the perfect size to have a really chunky hearty cup of tea is exactly what the doctor ordered for Christmas and this was only £3.50 so I got this 
for my boyfriend and this one for his oh <laughs> and this one for his sister another mug that i bought for my boyfriend's sister this is like an ongoing tradition between us like every birthday and every christmas i'll bring her a mug a mug for a mug i'm kidding <laughs> i bought her another mug from bnm and she loves friends so you guessed it it is a friends mug i don't actually know anything about friends i don't really know anything about the characters i bought it based on the quote that's on the back of this mug i almost have just knocked myself out with this <laughs> and the quote says i just shouldn't be allowed to make decisions anymore which i thought was relevant she's now moved back to london and i thought she's living her best life and i thought that quote is so appropriate and paired together with one of her favorite tv shows it's a win-win and this mug was two pounds fifty the next mug is the king the queen actually of all mugs look at the size of this mug <laughs> it says cup of positivity and there's little pastel rainbows all around and the inside is pink and it is a very chunky mug i mean if i just put my hand next to it you can see how big this is i can actually show you this compared to like the friends one this is like the mama mug and this is the baby mug <laughs> this one is so big oh this one is so big and this one is going to another one of my best friends as well. And I thought it'd make a perfect little stocking filler. And this one was £3.50. All these presents for everyone and none for me. So of course, I had to throw one in for me. <laughs> this one says sweater weather. And again, a nice chunky mug. I love it when they have a bigger base, like a wider base. And then it comes up to the top in like a smaller circle, if that makes any sense, because it just feels easier to drink from. I don't know if it's like a placebo thing, but this works well for me. And this one was £3.50 as well. And it is perfect. It has this neutral aesthetic and it just says sweater weather on it, which is of course very appropriate right now. And now for the last mug, we have this this one here this one has a black rim oh i've revealed the surprise in there <laughs> the front of this mug says they call me the dog father and there's a bit of a running joke with this one and this is going to go to my sister's boyfriend who thinks he's a dog whisperer we all know that i am the dog whisperer i love dogs and this is perfect for any dog lover and this is going to be for him and then the inside says did someone say biscuits which i thought was really cute and this mug was three pounds right i've just changed the fireplace on the TV because it was really bugging me out. The blue was just not working with the theme that we're going for here. And I feel like this feels a lot cozier. So we're going to go with this one now. That is it for all the mugs. That was it. Only six mugs later. <laughs> we're now going to move on to the glasses that I bought, which are honestly the prettiest things I've ever bought for my kitchen. We have these gorgeous, gorgeous ribbed highball glasses. They were £2.50 and I love how there's a really skinny bottom like this and then you've got the ribbed effect all the way around. I feel like this makes a very special glass and is perfect for any parties that you're hosting or any dinners that you're hosting. I feel like this just makes your tableware and your cutlery and things like that just look more dressy and more expensive. I've seen these on Amazon before and a set of four is usually like £30 and I bought six of these so we were very much under £30 which is great and this is going to be perfect for sitting on the table for hosting those dinner parties and I think I'm going to bring them up for Christmas as well. And if you're like me and you need to to know if it's dishwasher proof i can confirm that it is dishwasher proof which is great because usually glasses like this when they're so thin and delicate i'd be really apprehensive about putting them in but because they're only two pound fifty i feel like that's okay for me to replace them and it actually says that it is dishwasher safe it's just not suitable for the microwave which is a bonus next up we have a candle from bnm we have this escape candle which was two pounds fifty and the scent is mandarin lemon and pink grapefruit this smells very much like a toilet is the best way I can describe it. Like a very fresh, sweet toilet and clean toilet. And this is exactly where it's going. It's going to go in our downstairs toilet and it's quite inexpensive at £2.50. So I know that I can burn this without feeling guilty. I feel like we have some expensive candles at home that have been gifted to us and I'm always really apprehensive about burning them because I don't want to use them. So this is perfect. This is our £2.50 alternative. Now I'm going to show you some plants that I bought. One of them is real but she's gonna be low maintenance, hopefully, like me. <laughs> and I've also bought two fake ones, which I'm not usually a fan of fake plants. I feel like when they're fake, they obviously look really fake, but we do need some greenery in this house and beggars cannot be choosers. And these guys were on sale as well, which is of course a bonus. The real plant that I bought is this guy here. Oh, 
I can feel the pampas going up my nose. This is a pampas bouquet in like this grayish color, which is so nice and fluffy. And it also has little brown details. I wonder if you can see it, like little brown specks, which I thought was a bit different to the pampas that we have going on behind me, the two different types there. So this one's actually gonna go into our bedroom and I love the vase and how simple it is as well. They just have these striped effects kind of embossed in there, which is really nice. This is part of their Nordic Life collection and this was 20 pounds. The only thing is you will need to spray hairspray on that Pampas bouquet ASAP because it is going all over my rug and going all over my jumper. <laughs> Now for the fake plants that I bought. So I bought this guy here. Oh, how cute is that? I just thought this was the sweetest little plant pot with this kind of fake succulent going on at the top. And this was originally five pounds, but it was on sale for two pounds 50. And I'm gonna pop this in our bathroom. And I thought, this is just so cute. Like, look at that little face. For two pounds 50, what a bargain. And now this fake plant is a little bit more sophisticated. This is she. <laughs> this is another succulent type artificial plant but instead it's got red leaves i feel like it's showing up quite light here but because of the ring light it's actually like a dark auburn reddish color and then you've got the little fake rocks in there which looks cool and this is going to go in our bedroom or maybe in my study this also was on sale this was originally five pounds and i bought this for three pounds moving on to the less exciting home stuff it's got to be done. B&M is super cheap for some of the things that you would usually buy at your local supermarket, but at a discounted price. So of course I had to pick up some of the basics. Firstly, dishwasher tablets. Like I said, I hate doing the washing up. If there was one thing I could never do again, it would be either washing up or do my laundry. So of course we have dishwasher tablets. These are usually really expensive whenever I go shopping and there are 46 capsules here and I think I bought this for £7.50 and even Bella is impressed down there. <laughs> Are you impressed with these? <laughs> yeah £7.50 how good is that? For some more essentials I got these little scrubbers. Oh thanks Bella for giving me your ball. <laughs> I got these little scrubbers and these were £1.99 for two. Usually we pay about £3 for one in Tesco so of course this is a bargain and just super easy for when Danny does the washing up. Not for when I do the washing up. He doesn't mind doing it. So I'm happy to give him that one. And these are for him. So a good little stocking filler, maybe we should say. <laughs> I did also cave and get onto this trend of getting a minky. This is the most overpriced piece of sponge that I've ever bought. I think it was close to three pounds, but I needed one to be able to clean the shower screen in our shower. So I thought I'd give it a go. And this is the antibacterial bathroom pad. Another essential as a part of my daily routine are of course, cotton pads. These for some reason are so hard to find right now. They're like gold dust in my local Tesco. So I picked up this double pack for £1.49. Another groundbreaking and totally unboring pack purchase pocket tissues <laughs> they always always come in handy and this pack of 10 was one pound this one is probably more exciting for some of you guys i have never would you believe i have never ever used a fabric fabric <laughs> fabric refresher we were walking down the aisles and i was saying to my best friend i just want something to freshen up my duvet sheets i want something to freshen up my sofa my dog doesn't smell but i just thought when you've had a sofa for a little while now i don't know if it smells like it might just smell normal to me but for someone who comes into my house what if they're like you need to freshen up your sofa i need to freshen up your bed so here we have the febreze fabric freshener why can't i say fabric refresher <laughs> I got the scent Spring Awakening and this was actually recommended kindly by the sales associate that was in the aisle because she heard us talking about it. And so far, I would say it's doing pretty good. It says it eliminates odors. Again, I can't really see the difference. I feel like it just smells like fresh laundry, but the smell does go away pretty quickly. So will I buy it again? I'm not sure. We're now moving on to the final category of this haul. And this is the pet category, my favorite category that follows very closely from the home category. And we have quite a few TRATSs here. I'm not allowed to say the word because Bella is right there. If I say it, she'll be right here trying to eat some of the ones that I'm gonna show you guys. If you have a dog with a sensitive tummy like mine, probably some kind of poodle mix, or if it's like mine, a multi poo, they have very, very sensitive tummies and she cannot digest rawhide. So you need to get to B&M and get the treats from this collection called No Hide. So as you can tell from the name, there is no rawhide in these treats. 
I keep saying the word by accident. There is no rawhide in these T-R-E-A-T-S's, which is really great. This is the chicken rolls version. And just to give you some insight, the composition says that there are meat and animal derivatives, beef 93%, chicken 3%, derivatives of vegetable origin, oils and fats, additives, technological additives and preservatives. I'm not really sure what that means. I just look out for if there's any rawhide or wheat in there for my dog because that's what she's sensitive to. And these are really, really great. These I think were about £2.50. So I've got a pack for my sister's dog and I've also got a pack for Bella for when it's Christmas. She has already tried them and she loves them and i did also get a bigger pack for my boyfriend's family dog this is the bigger pack so it is significantly bigger than these as you can see but she likes to chew them for a little while now oh here she is she heard us talking about it and she heard the wrapper. I'm caught red-handed. I'm probably gonna have to give it to her now after this vlog. They also have the smaller six versions. This one is the beef twist sticks. Again, there's no rawhide in this as well. And I think this also was about £2.50 as well. I also got this little bowl for another furry friend. I like to call him my little fur nephew. My best friend has a little cat who is so cute. And so I got him this little bowl and it says perfect Christmas. And it has these little cats around it. And then in the middle, it just says Santa Claus <laughs> which I thought was quite cute as well and this one was £2.50. Another gift idea I have for our dogs this Christmas is this little jacket that is just so cute to me. This is like a little barber jacket but instead it has this really soft teddy sherpa material and inside it is fleece lined. There's the little velcro to put around their tummy which I thought was really sweet and I got this in a size small and then these are the measurements. I feel like whenever I measure it up against my own dog I always think that she's gonna be really really small but actually Bella's probably more of a medium and this one was seven pounds. Going down the dog aisle is literally my heaven. There's so many cute little jumpers and so many cute little treats and bowls and things like that. Bella does not need any more bowls and she also does not need any more jackets so unfortunately I didn't pick any up for her. She is now sat directly behind me down there. You can't even see how she's got, you can just see all the mugs there instead. And now for the last item in this haul we have a dog biscuit which says, oh it's upside down, Merry Wiffmas, which is so cute. And this is going to one of my friend's dogs, which I thought was a sweet little gift. And this one was two pounds. Oh, I lied to you. I did buy something Christmas related for Bella. And it is this cute Christmas jumper <laughs> of a Christmas pudding. I thought she could wear this for Christmas day, which is really sweet. And this one is five pounds. So that is everything from my huge B&M haul. I am gonna stop myself from going there for the next few weeks because I just simply cannot afford it anymore. And I've bought so many things already. I'm gonna be so busy wrapping these up as gifts. And now I can finally start putting things in place because I wanted to save it for this haul. So this Pampas guy was sitting on my dining table for the last week and now she can finally have a home in my bedroom. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this haul and I hope it gets you excited about going to your nearest b and Honestly, run. Get there as soon as you can because the stuff in there is amazing and perfect for any Christmas lovers like myself out there. I will resume the holiday content now. I have a Bali vlog coming so I'll see you guys there. Thank you so much for watching. Please stay, please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!